How long, all in all, did it take to get this trail done? I would say we started in 2002. So about 20 years of effort. So far. Yeah. Yeah. Rail trails don't just happen. They don't just get built like houses or highways. We don't need them so much as we need to want them. And even then, it takes a lot of community advocacy, a lot of persistence, a lot of persuasion, and above all, a lot of patience. Retired lawyer and Salisbury Mass resident Jerry Klima is the inspiration and guiding force behind the old Eastern Marsh Trail in Salisbury, one of the state's most unique rail trails. You're close to the salt water and you're close to a major river. It's really a wildlife mecca. But in creating the 1.3 mile trail that soon will extend two more miles to the New Hampshire border, Klima has also learned some key lessons about human life. One thing that's really interesting is that as you build these trails, they become more and more accepted. That's what Charlene Nebulame, a former Waltham City Councilor, is counting on. With over 62,000 residents in Waltham, many of whom are families, I have no doubt that this is going to be a very busy portion of the trail. The trail will be the long-awaited Waltham section of the evolving 23-mile Wayside Rail Trail. The hope is that residents here, not rust, will gather on Waltham's Linden Street, former railroad bridge. So Charlene, the Linden Street Bridge right that way. So all that goes is you can see uh, there's a lot of dumping and waste. Pretty spot to bike through though. I know, I can't wait. Presently, Waltham Trail users have to navigate their way through a fence into adjoining Weston, whose trail section is finished. I've met people who thought their kids would ride on this trail, but their kids have now graduated from college. We just have to get this done. There are rail trail proposals that are fortunate enough to be on a faster track. It's been on the radar for a long time, but I think everybody always thought that it wasn't going to happen. Nate Robinson and Alice Howe are with Friends of the Bourne Rail Trail, a project which would build a six and a half mile trail connecting Bourne with Falmouth and the Shining Sea Bikeway, creating, along with the existing canal path, 24 miles of continuous trail on the Upper Cape. I think it's always been a no-brainer to try and connect the two. No doubt, considering some of the beauty the rail bed runs through. And for now, the tracks stay here, making this a rare rail with trail. So the rail with trail concept is that the path will essentially be parallel to the tracks for its entire duration. Community support for the project has been unusually strong. People in Bourne are really clamoring for it. Support has also come from residents along the Shining Sea Bikeway in Falmouth. I have met many Falmouth residents who say, do you want me to come and talk to Bourne residents? Because I can't tell you, I love having the bike path in my backyard. Perhaps Georgiana Woods and Clarissa Robin should have those Falmouth folks come and talk in their town. I moved from a town with a rail trail and saw how wonderful it is. I just keep thinking, okay, Dedham is a special place, but it's not that special, that it's not going to work here. They're popping up all over Massachusetts. They're popping up all over the country. The question has been, will one pop up in Dedham, Massachusetts? The opportunity is there, a less than two mile section of a former rail line that the town now owns. In fact, in acquiring it and receiving funding for a new school, the town was also required to preserve access for a future rail trail. A decade later, the overgrown corridor still languishes, an abandoned eyesore strewn in parts with illegally dumped trash. Air conditioners, all sorts of all sorts of household trash and debris. The nonprofit Friends of the Dedham Heritage Rail Trail have offered a multi-use vision for the disused property, which would be ADA compliant and whose building costs would be covered almost entirely by the state. Moreover, a completed rail trail would provide new connections, like to the nearby Reedville Tea Station. My son and I go to the Neponset River Rail Trail all the time, and it would so easily and quickly connect to that. But unlike in Bourne, the community here in Dedham has not come together around the rail trail. We don't oppose rail trails throughout the state. It's just this particular trail doesn't make sense here. So this is your backyard. For her part, trail supporter Clarissa Robin is a direct the butter of the proposed trail. What do you say to those who say, look, I live right on the trail too. Yeah. 
and I don't want it. I don't know what's going to be going on in this thing. What do you say? I say that it'll just be an improvement to what there already is here, and it's not my property. It belongs to the town and should be enjoyed by everyone. As a point of comparison, Dedham finds itself surrounded by other communities like Needham and Weston that have built now thriving rail trails. Is there something unique, do you think, about Dedham that makes a rail trail somehow not a fit here? That is more fiscally prudent, you know, overall. So you don't think that if a rail trail was built here, you don't think there would be wide community use of it? I don't think so, not at all. We have a lot of support from young families with, with young children, people that have moved here recently that are for recreation, and they just want this to happen. It would be a huge improvement to the area.